Enter. Hello, Hayden. Take a seat. OK. Welcome to my home. Thanks for having me. You interviewed me earlier for my Netflix show, Dark Tourist, so I thought I could interview you about your show, Get It to Te Papa. Okay. So first up, I know how much you love cheese, okay. so I made this cheese board for you. Also, I know you love wine, so I thought I could pour you a wine. Like, I mean, I, I appreciate this, I really do, but like, I thought we were doing more of a little sort of reciprocal interview about... Oh, we are doing an interview, but I just wanted to start on the right foot. Cheers. Congratulations on your new TV show. Ah, delicious. So, Hayden, tell me about your new show, Get It to Te Papa. So it's about me trying to find, like, unheralded or underappreciated New Zealand artefacts and then trying to get them the respect they deserve in our National Museum, Te Papa. Are you <sighs> yawning? Is that...? As a privileged white man, do you feel you're the right person to be engaging in commentary and discussion around what should be in our National Museum? See, I mean, this is quite pointed already. Well, I just, I mean, I don't think I'm the wrong person. No, I think, so it, I, I think, think you're it's... trying to kind of trip me up here. I feel like this is, this is not how I thought this would go. Like, look, Mia Culpa, I know our last interview was tense, but I'm so grateful that we could get past that so we could promote my show. You know, I don't feel we did get past it. I feel you gave me an opportunity to promote the show that I'd just done, and you basically used it to sabotage me on national TV, and I didn't appreciate that. Meanwhile, look at you. You're drinking a wine. You've got a cheese board there. Look at you. Look at this man right here, New Zealand. This is... I feel deeply... Uh, I, feel, I mean, you've tricked me. You're a clever imp. You're really good. You've got a lot of experience on camera. Some of us haven't been on camera our whole lives. We can't just walk into the nearest funder's office and say, David Furrow, three news, and get $500,000, you know? We have to sort of scrap to you get know our what? little fuck set you. series. Fuck you. No, what do you mean, and fuck, fuck me? fuck all you stand for. This is not all about you. It's this all about weird. David Furrow. Oh, it's a white man you. having a moan. Moan, it's... who's moaning? Who's that moaning? It'll be Hayden Donnell, I'm I'd moaning. say. Oh, sure. How is it about you? I fucking hate a dark tourist. Fuck dark tourist. Fucking sucks. Now this finale is all about healing, so I thought we could have a live mediation of sorts. Hayden, David. Hi. Yeah, I, so I don't, I don't know why this is necessary. It's all, it's all fine. We've got the professionals in, me. I want you to say three things that you like about each other. He has nice hair. You've got beautiful skin. Smooth. Well, well I guess... In a way, he, he can be nice to hang out with. I enjoyed coming to your wedding. It was nice to realise that another human could love you, and that was good to see. I mean, that feels pointed, but it's really nice of no you... talking back. ..to say, and I guess, I guess for me, like, no... Uh, it was really nice having you there when you were there at the wedding, and... You have been a good friend most of the time. I do feel you fill a certain void in my life, and I think in some capacity you do fill my void. I fill the void. And think I do appreciate you for that. Thank you. It's beautiful. Oh. You can, Thank you. You can, you. Hug. You can yeah. hug on TV. Thank it's you. allowed. Thank you. How long should we hold this? Join us after the break. We're going to have more group therapy and more love. Oh, <laughs>